when that attack happens what happens hydride comes and attack on this carbon when this happen then the electronic density of one of the bond will be thrown into the orbital of this nitrogen because when hydrogen is attacking this carbon this carbon is going to form bond with this hydrogen carbon cannot be pentavalent so one of the bond has to be broken a new bond is going to be formed when that bond is broken then the electronic density of that bond has to go somewhere and that somewhere will be the orbital of nearby nitrogen so this is what we are going to get so this is all that will happen the second pi bond is not going to be reduced why because SnCl2 is a mild reducing agent that's why so SnCl2 is not a great reducing agent so it's not going to reduce the second pi bond of cyanide that is the bottom line so second pi bond is going to stay so the finally after adding SnCl2 plus HCl this is what you're going to get so the reaction will stop at this stage and that's why I taught you all that inert pair effect and that's why I we concluded that SnCl2 is a mild reducing agent so one of the pi bond is reduced by this hydride the other pi bond will not be reduced right so reaction stopped now in the second step you added water when you add water then the hydrogen from the water will be abstracted by nitrogen and nitrogen will become neutral so this is what you need to have and when you proceed on with hydrolysis then there there will be a hydrolysis of this imide and uh, you're going to get a aldehyde so how that going to how 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 the hydrolysis will happen we will see uh, if if I, if i if i condense write it in condensed form it will look like this right so the reaction will not stop here reaction will go further because you have taken hcl so when you add water actually this water is h plus h2 there's lots of h plus in the system already present so that h plus is going to come further and together with water the hydrolysis is going to proceed further it's not going to get stop here so so if i write the next step when h plus comes h plus comes and it will search for electron that electron is with nitrogen so h plus will form a bond with nitrogen nitrogen will have a plus charge which it which it doesn't like because nitrogen is electronegative so it will start to pull electron from carbon and when it pulls electron it satisfy itself but it does satisfy this carbon because this carbon will start to develop positive charge and this carbon will, will cry for electron and someone is going to help this carbon oxygen of water is going to give electron to this carbon but the problem is this carbon is making four bond already and it was deprived of, of a little electron so it requires a little electron but this oxygen is so graceful and grateful that this is not going to give little electron it's going to pour whole of its electron so this carbon will start to have a mechanism to empty up of its previous electron to accommodate new coming electron from this oxygen so the mechanism is simple put that electronic density into the orbital of nitrogen and that nitrogen which was previously having plus charge will now be happy to be neutral and this carbon will be happy to form a bond with oxygen so what we are going to get is this but who is going to be unhappy this oxygen because this oxygen will have a plus charge because it has given its electron into the bond of this carbon right right so you have this now what's going to happen next this nitrogen is a better base than this oxygen when we studied when we started to study organic chemistry we studied basicity and basicity depends upon the size and electronegativity oxygen is more electronegative than nitrogen so it will not give its electron to any of the acids any of the species demanding oxygen a lone pair of electron so 
nitrogen being less electronegative is a better base than oxygen. So this H plus is going to fly from this oxygen to this nitrogen which offers more electronic density. So there will be imab. Intramolecular acid base reaction. This is giving H plus so as if it's an acid this is giving this this nitrogen will be giving lone pair to hydrogen offering its electron so it's a base so it's an intramolecular acid base reaction so you have this the nitrogen called that hydrogen to give its lone pair but when it gave its lone pair it realized that this life is not miserable because it has to carry plus charge now and that is becoming really painful for nitrogen because nitrogen is, happens to be third most electronegative element and that's a shame nitrogen is carrying plus charge it is it should carry negative charge because its speciality is in carrying negative charge because it is electronegative how come there's a plus charge on nitrogen so nitrogen will start to pull electron from this carbon and carbon will realize that its life is becoming miserable increasingly as nitrogen is carrying away all its electronic density. So it will call for help. Who's going to come for help? Who's going to come for help? This oxygen. This oxygen is looking what's happening. And this oxygen will come to the rescue of the carbon. So electronic density is going into nitrogen and electronic density from carbon is going into the orbital ox oxygen is going into the orbital of this carbon. So see what's going to happen now. This bond is going to break because there's a single bond and electronic density is going into the orbital of nitrogen. So this nitrogen is going to come out as a neutral molecule. So this is come out, going to come out as NH3. So ammonia gas is going to be evolved. And this oxygen is going to form a bond with carbon. It is already making a bond. There will be one more bond. So carbon is breaking one bond with nitrogen, will form one more bond with this oxygen. There will be two bonds between carbon and oxygen. Let's write what ha will happen. Double bond with oxygen, there's a hydrogen already on this carbon. And this oxygen is also having a hydrogen like this. And when it gives electron, it will have a plus charge and this part comes out as NH3. This is what's going to happen. So this oxygen will just whoop, remove of its hydrogen and this hydrogen is going to, go, going to go somewhere on this earth but this oxygen is going to become neutral. So this is your final product. Ammonia comes out so the hydrogen that was there in cyanide finally goes away in ammonia gas. And now you have a good looking C double bond in an aldehyde. Oh, these two are same, are they? Yes. This is an aldehyde that we wrote and this is how we get this aldehyde. So this is Stefan reaction for you. In Stefan reaction what happens, you start with a cyanide, we end up in an aldehyde. The reagent is SNCl2, SNCl2 is a such reducing agent that it reduces one of the pi bond of cyanide cannot reduce the other pi bond. So the reaction stop at this stage and when you carry out subsequent hydration you get aldehyde and this is how you get this is an important mechanism because later when we study carboxylic acid then carboxylic acid one of the method of preparation of carboxylic acid is to get it from cyanide and there also we carry out direct hydrolysis of cyanide. There's no reduction. There's a hydrolysis of cyanide and that cyanide gives you a carboxylic acid. The mechanism is very similar to the one we have seen here. So you note down the mechanism, practice it with your hand on pen and paper. Just by looking at it, you are never ever going to learn. Write down the mechanism by, from, from this video, note it down, look at once, twice, thrice, then write it on a new page all by yourself. Until you do that, there is no way the list, the, you're listening to this lecture is going to help you ever. Because in, your, in exam, your mind is not going to work, your hand is not going to work, and your eyes are going to pain. So things will become miserable, terrible, horrible. 
So if things you want to be smooth and you want to solve problems with adroitness, you have to practice. And the method is the mechanism to fetch good marks, the mechanism to feel happy, the mechanism to feel comfortable with organic is to practice the mechanism by yourself. This is the mechanism. At the end of the day, you have to remember the reactant, product, name of the reaction and the reagent. This is Stefan reaction. You get aldehyde from cyanide.